also in the nation's capital, Major Garrett, White House correspondent for National Journal. Uh, Major, good morning. You look at good some morning. you look at some of the comments from Giuliani over the weekend, and it makes people wonder if there is still really some lukewarm support for Mitt Romney. Well, generally speaking, I would say politicians are egoists, and <laughs> I've always found that egoists act egotistically, particularly those from New York. So I would put Giuliani in that category first. And remember, a lot of people ran against Mitt Romney either in 2008 or 2012 on the Republican side, and not always on friendly terms. And on balance, Giuliani said Romney would make a better president than Barack Obama, which is what, in the main, you want a surrogate to say. But I think there's a lot of Republicans who ran against Romney who are going to have to clear out this underbrush of what they said back when they were running against Romney. Giuliani did that. I would imagine the next time he appears, or if there is a next time the Romney campaign <laughs> calls him up and asks him to appear, he might be more streamlined in his assessment. Yeah, what, what do you think the Romney uh, campaign's reaction was to that? I love when even Giuliani admitted it may be a little part of ego involved in this. I don't think that's well, ever think a good thing, Major Garrett. <laughs> well, if you're a presidential campaign and you have Rudy Giuliani on your side, you know you have someone who has a lot of visibility in America, but also right. a lot of ego and a record and someone who likes to talk about what he's done. I've seen Mayor Giuliani in a lot of different contexts. It doesn't take him long to get to what he did to revolutionize and recreate the city of New York. And I think anyone who remembers what New York was like in the 70s and 80s and compares it to what it is now, you have to give Mayor Giuliani a tremendous amount of credit for turning that all-important American city almost completely around. Let's go to Bain Capital for a second. Uh, so far, uh, Mitt Romney himself hasn't said much about Bain Capital. It seems that others are doing the talking for him. Do you think that he needs to jump in, too? You know, I've talked to Romney advisors about this, and their assessment is twofold. One. Now is not the time for Romney to jump into this because the Romney campaign in Boston believes if Mitt Romney were to suddenly alter his schedule or grant a bunch of interviews or do a lot of things to address this, he would be basically dancing to the tune played by the Obama campaign. And Romney's mm -hmm. campaign never wants to do that. Secondarily, they're content to have this fought out by surrogates from both sides. And at the right time of the right place, the Romney advisors tell me Mitt Romney will address this in his own way, describing his own approach to the presidency, first of all, and what his business experience at Bain Capital means to him as he approaches that job and voters look at him that way. But they don't think now is the time. They would like this to be a surrogate war, and they're actually very very happy, rather, that Democratic surrogates, like some of his own Republican surrogates, have had a hard time sort of towing the company line from the Obama point of view, attacking Romney on Bain. And some of that is the focus of a Washington Post article this morning actually about Democrats having somewhat lukewarm support for Bain. Is it a smart road for the Obama campaign to take? Well, that'll be for the voters to decide, but I guarantee you this, in all my conversations at the White House and with the Obama headquarters in Chicago, this is a campaign they mean to continue. They are not backing off from this, and the president himself in the last week at public podiums and at fundraisers has made very clear he believes this is the central message to take against Mitt Romney. He's not going to back off of it. And if Democrats at the margins are discomforted by this, the president really doesn't care. He believes this is the single best and most effective way to disqualify Mitt Romney. And if you're an incumbent president seeking re-election, you have to disqualify your challenger. And that's what the president is hoping to do. Major Garrett, nice to see you this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Memorial Day.